Hi everyone, I'm Kathy, the Clumsy Soaper. Soap making is my creative outlet and this channel is all about soap making. Today, I would like to share with you on how to make eyebrow soap. This video was requested by Lori Passion together with some of the Facebook page message requests on eyebrow soap DIY that I received. Without further ado, let's get started! The ingredients that I use today are melt and pour transparent soap base. I made this transparent soap base from scratch and if you are interested to make your own transparent soap base, I already placed the link in the description box below so you can watch that after this video. If you don't want to make your own soap, transparent soap, you can also directly buy commercially available soap bases and it is available online or probably in a local shop near you. We also need essential oil or you can also use fragrance oil if you prefer. For the materials, the basic two things that you need will be the cosmetic tin can and a spoolie. First, let us cut the soap base into smaller pieces. Then, you need to melt it. You can use a double boiler, microwave, or a mini cup warmer. After a few minutes, the soap base will completely melt. Then, we have to cool it down to slightly above 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we need to add the essential oil. Since eyebrow soap is a leave-on product, I've decided to use essential oil today over fragrance oil. I've used 2.5% of tea tree essential oil. I've decided to use tea tree essential oil because it is good for the skin due to its inflammatory and antimicrobial properties. It is also good to prevent and reduce acne. You can um, choose whatever essential oil or fragrance oil that you need. Um, next, we need to stir it gently and pour it into the tin cans. I've sprayed the tin can with alcohol first. This is not required but due to COVID-19, nowadays, I like spraying everything with alcohol. Then, we need to let it stand for 2-3 to three hours or until the soap cools down. While we are waiting, I've decided to do some arts and crafts and make a label for the container. I just cut this colored paper and I cut it into shape.
stick it into the tin can with the double-sided tape. And here is another yellow cardstock. And then let's just write the label. My space is too small, so I'll just put brow soap instead of eyebrow soap. Now we are ready to put the lid. Since this is melt and pour, this soap is ready to use. I asked my friend and housemate Kay to help us test the eyebrow soap. Um, and I'll share that at the end of this video so that you can see it in action. Thank you so much, Kay! Big hugs and much love! Thank you for sharing! Our day will not be complete without our little chit-chat. Our question for the day is, have you ever tried using soap to create a feathered textured or celebrity eyebrow look before? Uh, let me know by writing it down in the comment section below. I know it sounds crazy to use soap for the eyebrow, but I found out that this is an old trick that our great-grandmothers used to do. I tried it by myself, and it really works! I hope that you enjoyed our soap making session today and thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I'm Kathy the Clumsy Soaper and if you are new here, I hope that you would consider subscribing into my channel for a weekly soap making video, DIY tutorials, and a lot more. 
hit the bell icon so that you will be notified when I release a new content here in my channel. Just like you, soap making is my passion and I would really appreciate if you can join me in my soap making journey so we could learn and grow together. Thank you so much, Hope Sisters and Bubble Brothers, and happy birthday to those who are celebrating their birthdays this month. God bless!